What's up, guys? Yuri Retro here. What up? I got this box of pogs we're going to go through to see what's inside. I've been buying non-stop pogs. I've got so much more than just this. I'm trying to collect every pog there ever was. This thing cost me 150 bucks. I probably could have haggled it down because it was obviously $100 before I got it. But I did buy a bunch of other stuff that he gave me deals on. So whatever. Is that a card trade show? We're going to go through it and see what we have and start our journey of collecting every single pog ever. It's $150 worth of pogs. What is that really? We'll find out. But first we need to actually, I think, weigh it because this box is actually heavy. Maybe we need to start weighing how much we've been paying for pogs. All right. 23 pounds of pogs is what we've got here. So what's that when you break it down? $6 for a pound of pogs. Uh, so let's open it up. See, I did a little smell like cigarettes, so I put some of these in there to help air it out, but I don't think it helped too much. Uh, first thing, we got a crazy bone case. These aren't pogs. I, by the way, I told the guy to surprise me. I don't want to know what's inside. I just wanted just to kind of see when I opened it up. And we have a poison bogey at three, 1994. No idea what this is, if it's a sticker or something. This is the first thing we have from the box. Next up, we've got a bunch of, what are these? These are, this company is called the Original Milk Cap Spontaneous Enterprises, Inc. I feel like every single pog was the spontaneous, was the original. So let's uh, rip through these real quick and see what we got. So remember, pogs are all about skulls and eight balls. So we have a skull and an eight ball. Skull and an eight ball, different skull and eight ball. Uh, I don't see an eight ball on this one. Skull duggery. These are different names. Oh, they're all skull duggeries. Just skulls and eight balls. Oh, here's our first slammer. So the slammer is the thing you to hit your pogs with to flip them. And yin yangs, yeah. Eight balls, yin yangs, and skulls. And the word poison is going to be the theme of every single thing. So I hope you like that. It's nice and heavy. More skulls from this set. So we are going to try to collect every single pog from every single set as well. We got a bunch of sealed stuff that we'll open one day. Cool, so we got a bunch of this, and let's see, there's some yellow in here. I think, is that the rules for how to play Skull Duggery Pogs? How to play the Skull Duggery Poison game. Poison Coffin, oh, this, so this isn't a Crazy Bones Coffin. This is actually a Skull Duggery <laughs> Coffin. All right, all right, that's cool. I didn't see this California kids poison rules from Huntington Beach. Cool, cool, all right. I am stoked on that. Skullduggery, here we go. Okay, next up we got this official Pog Tournament game pack. I got a bunch of these. These are, got a nice six things here to hold Pogs and usually has a little play mat in it and instructions. This just seems to have random Pogs, so let's open it up. Oh, we got a bunch of Slammer Whammer and cool stuff. I'm gonna bring the camera lower, sit down so my back doesn't hurt, and let's analyze what's in this one. All right, next up we got this Pog Micro Tournament Game Pack, which usually comes with instructions and a pad. This one just seems to be holding other people's, or other random Pogs, because it's got six Pog slots. So let's see what we got in here. Okay, first thing I notice is this shiny Pog, an Ultra Pro Kini. So this is a, Kini is a slammer, and it's uh, by Trov, which is a uh, company that made Pogs, I think they had tournaments. Like I got a box of that right there. Uh, and then Ultra Pro, those are the guys who made sheets for cards and stuff. So I got a box of Ultra Pro Pog holders, brand new. So that's pretty sweet. That's from a, a different thing I bought. Okay, let's, let's go through these piles and see what we got. Uh, we got a lot of, are these all Slammer Whammers? Okay, we have a bunch of Slammer Whammer stuff in box. So let's take a look at what we got. I think they're all Monster. Universal, mon official Universal Monsters. Or is it Monsters? Okay, cool. So we got Monster Pogs, one Spawn Pog. Spogs. I think there was two different versions of Spawn Pogs. Creature from the Black. Yeah, these look like they've been played with. See the edges? That looks like. Not something that's been mint the whole time. So, you know, that's fun too. Doesn't really bother me. Okay, next pile. Let's see what's good. If we look at the back, that'll... Oh, Coca-Cola Pogs. Yeah, people love Coca-Cola stuff. All right, Coca-Cola Pogs. Monsters, 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 monsters. Oh, delicious, refreshing. Like, like, what kind of kid thinks that's cool? 
That's some boomer stuff for sure. Mountain stairs. My, even this monster stuff is pretty boomer. Like, I don't know if kids in 1994 really cared. And look, like stuff was like pure not centered back then and nobody cared. Like, look how unaligned that is. Monsters, monsters. I guess I'll be organizing this as we go through it. So best thing to do is make sure all the backs are... Oh, a Toys R Us one. Yo, that's pretty sweet. Okay, Coca-Cola. Look how old timey that is. Like, which kind of kid in 94 cares about that? Toys R Us Pog. That is very cool. I didn't even know this existed, and I am stoked on this. So it's going to go in my very cool pile with the Ultra Pro. Coca-Cola cap, boring. Simpsons prototype. Ooh, prototype. Is that special? Okay, I'm going to put this with special ones in case everything's prototype. Oh, another Toys R Us. Okay, maybe not as special as I thought, but I like it. A KB, grand opening. Okay, that's cool too, because KB Toys is a thing in the States that we didn't have in Canada, and these are bought in Canada. Coke cap, one of eight. Ooh, that's so cool. Okay, we got a hockey pog. We're going to get a lot of hockey pogs. Uh, number 15. I think they came in all colors too. Another Spog pog. Whoa, a kid who's scared. Who cares? Boring. And another monster. Guys, it's going to be a long video, I think. But, you know, we got 24 pounds of pogs to go through. Monster spawn. I got to moisturize my hands before doing these. My fingers look gross. Uh, monsters. Monsters. Spawn. Monsters. 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 Ooh, monsters. Monsters. Wow, so many. Mo oh, this feels weird. Is there nothing on the other side of this? Yeah, yeah, it looks like it fell off. This thing got damaged. All right, uh, more monsters. And then, uh, let's see, you think we're gonna find any other cool stuff here? Spogs, don't care. Monsters, mons, lot, just played with monsters. Just lots of rough shape mons. Look at this one. Oh, that's in real rough shape. Now that's a pog that's been traded and lost in battle many times. Whoa. More monsters. More monsters. Monsters, monsters, monsters. And the last little pile from this. Monsters. Ooh, I thought they went through the washing machine. Monsters, monsters. Everything smells a little like cigarettes. This was from Quebec. I don't know. So that says something. I feel like French people like to smoke. But is that like French Paris or French Quebec? Ooh, another KB grand opening. What's this? Toys R Us. Yay! Another Toys R Us. KB. And another Ultra Pro Slammer. Also looks kind of beat up and used. Look at that. And another monster. All right, that was a good one. So here, let's put uh, the monsters and the spawn pogs back in here. Never to be seen again. I'm going to assume I have a better condition monsters somewhere. One of these videos, come back and we'll be ripping through and cataloging everything, but not today. Today is just a what's in a $150 box of pogs I bought kind of video. All right, so this one said prototype. We'll see if uh, this one looks a little damaged too. Maybe it was played with. So it's worthless. Everything's worthless anyways. That's why I like collecting pogs is because you can get a bunch for cheap and they're not worth much. Oh, next up in this box, let's pull out this here. I'll cut throw that in there. I'll throw in the next thing. We got this little container too. And then we got this slammer and cap collector case. And this I actually bought from someone else at the show. It is cheese string pogs, the box, sealed. And let's pull out this one. Horoscope cat. Yeah, let's pull that. Okay. So this is bigger than this. But this is one of the center things that goes on uh, one of those play mats. You can get blue ones too. Okay, let's start it off with these horoscope caps. Sealed. Oh my God, I'm pushing them out while they're sealed. Doesn't matter, caps are worthless. And let's see, what am I? Capricorn. Ambitious. Caution. Practical. Well, I'm a little cautious. Not very practical, but I am ambitious. Ambitious that anyone's going to watch this. So horoscope caps, that's, that's cool. I am stoked on this as it is. I love sealed up stuff. So let's put this over here. Uh, next up, do we want to go, let's start with a small container. So this is, you know, the usual things you'd keep pogs in. This one has a, I guess a fairy princess sitting on a flower. What kind of pogs do you guys think are in here? Oh, we got that. So we got a little bit of everything. Okay, 
We got a Skull, who is also a Joker. That's cool. Nothing on the back, no name. Another Skull with a snake. I think snakes, skulls, eight balls, yin yangs. We got the Lion King Pog, number 17. Okay, let's put the Lion King Pogs there. It's going to be a Skull with an eight ball, I bet. Oh, Mr. Bones. Well, it was a skull. Anything that's blank on the back, you can pretty much guess it's going to be one of those. Uh, eight ball. Wild one. Oh, that's cool. I bet you this is blank at the back. Oh, it's got a yin-yang in the middle. Definitely blank on the back. Bull's eye. Another yin-yang. And then we got a hockey player. Cool, cool. That's pretty much exactly what I'd expect from a container like this. All right. This says five bucks. I don't know if it was in there for five bucks or if I bought it somewhere else at the show for five bucks. Let's crack this open. Oh, all right, okay. Starting off, we got ninja star shaped pogs, which look like they've been heavily played with on the back. If someone dropped these into a pog game with me, I'd be like, no, nah, get that, get that junk out of there. I guess yeah, let's look at it. Lizards and lizards and stuff. We got a Captain Crunch slammer from a box of cereal. And love that crunch. It's Canadian since we got French there too. So I'm stoked on that. A uh, bunch of lizards. Nope. Horse and action anime guy. Okay, what are these? Yin yangs? Poison. Don't bug me. We got a ladybug with eight balls. Man, I swear to God, these guys are some like fake Vegeta with a boxing glove. And this guy, yeah, if someone threw those in, I wouldn't play. I'm not for keeps. Crunch. Is this a like Captain Crunch or is this just... I just made up stuff. And a shark. Yeah, okay. What is this slammer? Oh, we got a heavily played with Nintendo limited edition slammer. Hubba Bubba, Juicy Fruit, Nintendo, and Wrigley's Extra. That is cool. That is cool. I'm going to put this with the Captain Crunch. I love this kind of stuff. Uh, whoa. What does it say? Stay in school? No. Execution in style. We got a cig blindfolded skull smoking a cigarette. Yeah. Oh, hang time. Heck yeah. We haven't had any spelling errors yet. Usually pogs are full of them. And then the slammer. Okay, it's an elephant. A metallic elephant. Number 13. Okay, Friday the 13th. Cool. Trying to catch a baseball. Don't see any eight balls or skulls. But 13, I think, is a new thing to add to that. And we got finger grips on the slammer. So, you know, you, when you drop it down, it doesn't slip, which is pretty clutch. All the rest is just... No name pogs. And okay, this case has a uh, a pig, ninety two, lunch. Just pigging out with my pogs. Okay, let's rip through these. Dynamite. I don't know what the heck this is. Out of my way. I'm a I'm a guy running away from mastodon. Is there anything on the back? No. Clip art football player. Eight ball. There we go. Eight ball. Chilling with the eight ball. Grim Reaper. Grim Reapers are big too. Buzz cut. Cool motorcycle. Rock and roll. Feel the heat. Poison. Not a real. Oh, 182. Production contact. Man, this looks so bad and made up. I'm excited to see if there's more than this. Skull guy. Skull guy. Penguin. Penguin. Skull candle. Interesting. Interesting. Game ball. We had skull and an eight ball chill out man there you corral draw gradients we're going off the charts chill we got a popsicle that's a cool one yin yang gradient skull on a thing bow and arrow skeleton oh cherry lips eight ball that's interesting i didn't never thought of making cherries an eight ball oh what is this this looks sega under license the pog and post so it came out of cereal and is it sonic oh eternal champions that's cool I'm gonna put this in. I'm gonna start a cool pile of stuff that I want to keep away from everything else. That was really cool. A lizard with a yin yang. Gradient skull. Use your head. Eight ball wizard. American highways. Well, wonder what highway that is. Slammer whammers. Yeah. <laughs> Bow and arrow skeleton. It's a spray paint can skeleton. I don't know what this is. Music note. A kind of shark. A ogre. Oh, cute little kitten. A yin yang ish skeleton. Like Mike. Mike who? Be like Mike. Like Michael Jordan. 1995 GT. Copyright. Copyright, guys. Don't steal his designs. All right. Anyways, so we got a couple cool ones in there, but that's just like another, you know. Oh, there's more. There's more. There's a whole pile right here. 
with the whale. Uh, 25 pounds of pogs. Those are so many cool things. And I've got like a million more pounds. Okay, we got a whale. Whale ones are pretty good. There's a lot of animal ones. Uh, a scorpion. Another skull. Painting skull. Man, they were really getting desperate. Shark. Crunch. Oh, Star Wars. Tusken Raider. Whoa, tops. All right, we'll put that in the cool pile. Another skull. Game ball. Butterfly. Get some rays. Ogre. Baseball hitting a skull with a yin yang on it. Oh, nuclear. I think this is our first nuclear logo. Bride to be. God, this stuff's so funny. Coco Bird. Crazy. Yeah, crazy is a word they use a lot, especially when they made it. Okay, it was like cr everything was like crazy caps. Uh, One dollar. Hey, George Washington. See ya later. Eating the fish. God, man, they just put anything on pogs, and people were just like, "Yeah, I guess I'll just try to collect them all." Hang time. Okay, we're starting getting some doubles. What's this guy? Football. Like the like you have three minutes to make a pog, and they just like, "All right, send it out. Who cares?" Baby, try. Coco bird. A soccer ball. Franken skull. Poison. What is this? Is this wheels? Is wheels on fire? All right. Not many good finds there, but you know, five for five bucks, like this says right here. I'm not mad. I'm not mad about any of this. I don't even know what I'm doing with this. Maybe I'll donate it to a museum. Maybe I'll open my own museum. All right. These are the cool ones I'm going to put aside with uh, maybe uh, the KBs and the Ultra Pros. I can have favorites, right? I can have stuff I don't like. Okay, next up is going to be, we got a uh, Bugs Bunny chilling on top. Looney Tunes. I have a box of Looney Tunes pogs right there. And we'll get to that one of these days. I usually like to have two boxes of everything so I can, I can open one and keep a sealed box, but we'll see. Oh my goodness. There's like a pound of slammers and stuff here too. Everything looks Pog branded. Jackpot. Should I spill it out or no? I'll just take out a pile at once. Whoa, this is Jackpot. Jackpot Central. Let's pull off all the top stuff. I think that's the whole set of Pocahontas, which I have a bunch of boxes of. These all smell like, oh, like cigarettes, which is kind of gross. That's, that's one of the bad parts about buying like huge box from like the collectors it's like i feel like they don't care about cigarette smoke or maybe that's just old pogs in a box for so long i don't know pocahontas these are all pocahontas pogs and slammers so uh we can here let's divide them up by pogs and slammers because i think all we this is just pocahontas stuff and i feel like i have like three thousand sets of pocahontas pogs so i don't really need more we're gonna be careful to not scratch up the surfaces too much because look, we got like, oh man, it's hard to get this to reflect. Look at that one. Like that is cool uh, diamonds and stuff. God, that's just the top stuff in here. I feel like this is all just Pocahontas. Oh, we got a Flintstone. Let's see what this is. It's Barney Rubble. Looks, looks heavily played with. Look, it's got the marks from the Slammers. Yeah. Oh, we got a bit of Flintstones here too. Flintstones, Flintstones. What's this, what's this red thing at the back? Pig stamp, Tokyo potty. Oh, Flintstones vit multiple vitamins. Well, these are vitamin pogs. Nice. I didn't know pogs came in the vitamins. I remember just eating vit Flintstones vitamins when I was hungry. Like, oh, there's no snacks around. Just eat some Flintstones vitamins, whatever. Too bad they don't have that around anymore. That was cool. Probably weren't good vitamins or something. All right. I don't know if you guys want to see the Pocahontas pogs or just want to see that we have them. But uh, let's finish looking in this box. If this is all Pocahontas, then you know, I'm obviously not gonna show you every Pocahontas pog in the world. Whoa, some cool ones though. Pocahontas, Pocahontas, Pocahontas. Okay, so this is all Pocahontas. Okay, let's rip through like half these and then through half the slammers and then we'll see what these Pocahontas pogs look like. That's pretty cool. Oh, this guy. Yo, what is this, number one? 35, 35 is the title. All right, oh, just dropping some. I got another Flintstone, Pebbles. Wow, it's crazy that people sell, try to sell a lot of these online for so much and they're like so worthless. Oh, okay, so it looks like we got all these slammers. So let's see, are these all the oil stained color ones? Like they're cool, but they're hard to, hard to see. Oh, and then we got the blue ones. I guess we got them separated by colors. I don't have a checklist. So I don't know how many are in each thing, but it looks like we got a bunch of all the colors. Let's just separate them by colors. 
or just look at them. Okay. So we got a bunch of Pocahontas. That's cool too. Probably seven full sets of it. I don't even know how to put these away. Should I put them away like this? Or just straight down the middle? No, because then, well, I guess the guy had them stacked pretty nicely. All right, whatever. Pocahontas Pogs, there's a ton of them. Next up, we got this cool little Slammer and Cap collector case. Let's see, what kind of, we got Slobosaurus. Bring home the bacon. Blade Warrior and an eight ball. Let's see what the company called on this. This is Comfort Products Limited. All right, what do you think we got in here? Ooh, everything's labeled. What does it say? Income, income, does that say income? What am I trying to read here? M. Kane, is that French? Hockey, space, M and MMO, Gammy, Buzz, what? All right, anyways, this is a cool container. Like we got like a little plastic thing to hold it all in. Let's see, what, what do we got here? Roadrunner, Coyote. So we got Looney Tunes. Then we got Made in Taiwan, No Name. We got a, what's this guy called? I forget. Cool little robot. Oh, now we're into like these cool like glitter ones. These are like laser caps or something? No, just like, well, maybe they're laser caps. I got a bunch of laser caps and they look like this. Got the fish. Oh, Toy Story. Yeah, I got some Toy Story packs and then some more Looney Tunes. Beep, beep. Okay, Animal, Animal. Gargoyle riding a motorcycle. Heck yeah. Is this actual gargoyle? It's okay. Oh wait, that gargoyle riding the motorcycle was an actual gargoyles one? I thought it was a joke. Uh, okay, actual gargoyles. Gargoyles, more Looney Tunes. More space stuff. Gamma Sector 4. Toy Story. Interesting. And more Looney Tunes. Oh, Gamma Sector f Wait, doesn't even make sense. That was one pog. Snow White and the Magic Mirror. What collection is this? Whoa, promo pog. Heck yeah, that's going in the cool pile. Uh, frog with a basketball. Basketball. Another guy with a basketball. Are these all basketball themed. Uh, animal with a basketball. Guy with a basketball. Chicken with a basketball. Another guy with a basketball. Uh, this guy with the basketball again. Yeah, okay, this guy's cool. 94 Ice Kings. Oh, we got, what is this? two rats playing basketball or a kangaroo in a basketball or an anteater in a basketball or basketball basketball wow those are some awful basketball pogs some more animals we got woody okay what's in here tweety bird uh taz warrior what the toy story basketball is it basketball looks like basketball more looney tunes gundam sylvester the hunter be quiet quiet my dick wabbits Speedy Gonzalez, another Gargoyles, and a Roadrunner. Okay, what's this? Ah, I don't know. Bugs, Tweety. Oh, uh, what the heck is that? Baboon? Taz? What's this guy called? Whatever, it's that guy. Daffy? Down, yeah, Daffy Duck, yeah. Bugs, another duck, the Coyote, and then some more ROC Taiwan, and another Gargoyle. All right, now we got a stack of Slammers. Let's see, let's see. Slammers are always sick. Is this a slammer? Oh man, this looks great. Guy with the basketball kicking. Oh, guy with the basketball who's a goblin. We got the nature slammer. What's this? Sheriff. Oh, that's cool. Reboot. Yeah, reboot pogs. I don't think, no. I do have a box of reboot pogs. Nice. Uh, Bronx, I guess that's a gargoyle. Another basketball guy. And then a stupid one of these figure, one of these Oh, it's 8-Ball Ninja on a Samurai, not a Ninja Star. All right, let's go through here. Porky Pig, French fries. Dude, that's stuff you could get away with with Pogs. And like, yo, we got French fries. Put it on a Pog, sell it to kids. Toy Story, Toy Story. Skulls. But this is a potato chip with a parachute. Ripplins, Humpty Dumpty. Yeah, it is a potato chip. Put that in the cool pile. Trout, yeah, shout out Trout. Tiger, or no, Lynx. Beep, beep. It's in the basketball one. What's up with these basketball ones? Another cat. Tweety Bird. Coyote. Koalas. Another Toy Story. All right. Oh, we got a Slammer in here. Okay. More Disney. More Animal. More Skunk. More Viking. Different Shook Attacks. Tweety. Bugs. The Porky Pig. Okay, then we got... Some nice condition slammers, yeah. Greetings, earthlings. So he's been played with a bench bunch. Look at that. Look at that damage from smashing pogs all day. Yeah. So he's done some work. And then the last bunch of slammers. Okay. What the heck is this? Is this Marvel? 
Oh, Spider-Man. Oh, with the grooves. Nice. Those are cool. Those are called hero caps. It's our first hero cap. Uh, yeah, I'll put it here. I like Marvel stuff. Okay, bunch of anime guys playing basketball. That's cool. Bunch of cool anime guys standing around. Cool. Oh, a guy with the eight ball. This is on some heavy metal. These are all like rusty and corroded. These are just like probably such trash. Oh, our first Barbie Pog. Yeah, we have a Barbie Pog uh, action figure I can bust out just so you guys can see that. All right, we got Barbie Pog from my wife's collection. You see there's a slammer missing there. It's right here, Barbie. So shout out Pog Barbie. All right, so overall, that was pretty cool. I think my favorite one from that collection is, uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe this Snow White. Like, that's kind of cool. I like weird promo stuff, like one-off Pogs. Okay, so that's that's a bunch of stuff, so let's... Oh, we gotta move all these Pocahontas pogs. What are we grabbing next from the pile? So next up, we got uh, a bunch of binders, and then I don't know what's down here. So this, okay, let's pull this out. You can really smell cigarette smoke once you start moving stuff. Whoa, oh, yeah, that stinks. Whatever that is, smells. It's all going into the garage after I'm done with this. Okay, heroes, superheroes. Whoa, well, this might be really cool. Animation. So pretty much we're down to binders now. I don't even, I, honestly, I'm so confused by how this stuff's packaged. Okay, more superheroes. Yeah, it smells like it was in a cigar, cigar aficionado's house. That's what you gotta watch out for with pogs. They stink up your house. No, this is a bunch of pogs I got was in like a guy with like a smelly dog. And that stuff stinks. So I have to like put it in a container. I can't even display it because it smells so bad. Okay, let's, uh, divers sounds kind of crazy. Let's start off with, uh, looking at this. So we got a sky caps, not punched out, which is pretty cool. Which, if any, is the real Superman. I like this a lot. I'm going to hold on to this. Uh, I'm going to hold on to all of it, but you know, you know what I mean. Is this another one of those? Yeah, another one of those. Cool. Uh, Infinity Packaging Ink. So there's some Pogs in there. Man, I, I want to open this, but I also I don't know if I should. How am I going to see these cool Pogs if I don't? Maybe this is like a company that made Pogs, and this was their promo. I feel like I should open it. YOLO. Okay, what is this? Infinity Packaging Ink. Well, this is just a business card for a company in Philadelphia from concept to finished product. I guess they made Pogs, collectors and cards. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll call them up. Okay, can you guys make me some pogs? I wonder if they're still around. Yeah, so whoever I got these pogs from had a, had a pretty cool collection. So uh, I think I'm uh, reaping the benefits of someone who bought a bunch of stuff and realized it's worthless down the line, which is the best part about pogs. Okay, these are in a con you sealed, they're, stick they're taped up, but they're not like special in any way. This is a bunch of random hockey and stuff. So we got hockey, and uh, what were these football ones? These are like the cheapest ones to buy a f full box of. Hockey, the on flurry, American Licorice Company, bro. That's cool. That's that's going in the pile of cool stuff. These '94 hockey, I have so many of. Uh, just the competition, old fashioned pogs. That's cool. It's our first pile of them. Like a good look, Joan. Skinny is our future. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. It's not too cool. I got some Power Rangers pogs. I love Power Rangers. I got some Power Rangers sealed boxes. So I'm gonna hold on to that. This is this uh, Star Fox. No. Zogs. Zogs, I think, are not good, but I will put it with the cool pile for now. All right, this is with the junk pile. And the last one that we just randomly got out of here is a non-sport update. Captain non-sports. Ah, that's so funny. Non-sport update, because I actually like non-sports. I'm going to put that in the pile. And we got a random sheet, which I think is for coin collectors, but the pog guys made that into pog sheets, but I never really liked that. Okay, hero, superheroes. So this is, uh, I think, I don't know, we'll see what this is. Okay, so the guy's got slammers in, I think, a paint sample uh, case. So first off, we got, oh, these are heavy duty metal slammers too, and they're like, I think in pretty good condition. Wow, nice, this is where all the weight comes from. Look at this guy. Okay, so let's see what we actually have here. This guy, random, random, eight ball guy, uh, feet. I think it's a it's an elephant snorting pogs the bomb guy kicking with the basketball oh it's the official pog one 
spider web, a dog with a collar. Okay, let's see what this is. The spider web. Nice, that's an official pog. This is, I feel like this is thicker than, than normal pogs. You know what, it doesn't say Canada Games. This must be from the USA or something. And this dog too. Nice, okay, I'm gonna put these aside because I think that's, well, I think this whole binder is probably a lot of those, okay. All right, all right, let's keep them in here. Oh, and if you open it up, okay, we got Canada Games, I think, because it's, yeah, Canada Games, because it's thinner. So were the American Slammers thicker than the Canadian Slammers? That's wild, but I guess, there wouldn't be American Slammers because I think Canada Games was the American Pogs. I don't know. Uh, what's this? More Spawn, Spawn, Spawn. And then uh, Warrior Stone. Stone Warriors? What is this? Some kind of Pogs. Maybe that's uh, Gargoyles. New Line Productions. Predatorious. I don't know what this is. Another Pogs. Maybe that must be guys from uh, Gargoyles. And these Pogs stank. Okay, we got... More Gargoyles, Batman Forever, two clear ones, Crash, Cap, Slammers. So we'll look that up, and then we got, okay, look at this one, this one's cool. So, Bunny, I don't know what's on the back of this. Let's take a look. China, eh, that's fun. Yeah, I hate on that. And then we got our Marvel Slammers, so that I, don't, I can barely tell. I know that's Wolverine, that's Magneto, I don't know who these guys are. Sabretooth, uh, Wolverine, Galactus. Kingpin, oh, Kingpin looks like it was used. Look at that one, bro. Kingpin was just wrecking people. And then Gambit. Okay, that's a cool little stack of stinky superhero pogs. Animation, okay. Oh, we got these poison slammers. You know, these are all cool. They're like, this, this, whoever did this set of artwork, I really liked. I feel like that got stolen by everyone and there was no, um, nothing on the back for any of them. But if you know who the original artist is, let me know. Some reflect reflective ones. Okay, let's see what's on this. Okay, Toy Story, Green Army Men. That's Toy Story 2. This is Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, we got a Dragon Ball Z slammer. How unofficial is this? Bro, so unofficial. I love it. Oh, we got, uh, what is this? Is this Marvel? Well, we got a Michael Jordan space ball, a Space Jam slammer right next to it. Yeah, I don't know what this is. I, I like these ones. I'm going to put those aside. This one's lighter. Monstars, Toon Squad. Or should I just keep it in the book? I don't even know. Maybe when I start building my collection, we've got Lion King, Pocahontas. Then here we got more Lion King and Casper the Ghost. Cool, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna put this with the cool stuff. All right, good job, animation. What's next? Oh, okay, uh, we got some Star Wars up here. Jabba the Hutt, Boba Fett. Look at this one, official Star Wars caps. Is this Pogs? No. So there was Pog Star Wars and then there was Tops caps look so here we got tops cap star wars and there we have pogs star wars so yeah this is a uh, pog and this is is this say tops anywhere tops yeah okay so these are the two different kind cool cool makes sense oh and then we got a bunch of uh holographic cool shaped ones these are pretty fun oh we got the hypno slammer oh it's like blank on the back i think it's it's missing something because you wouldn't slam with just like exposed paper can I pull this off and make this my own slammer? Maybe. Who's this by? This is by Bongo Comics Group. Skybox. And then we got a Wild Caps slammer. I feel like there's a lot of Wild Caps that I don't care about. Look at these hockey guys. Ice Caps, official slammer. Scottsdale, Arizona. From Ice Kings. Those Ice Kings ones are the basketball guys. Well, that's fun. Those Ice Caps guys. Yeah, you know, this is from an actual guy in Quebec because it's French first, then English. Divers. Okay, I have no idea what divers means. You guys think it's like people who are diving underwater or is it like, uh, like another word for slammers? Oh, I think it just means like heavy metal ones. Okay, so a bunch of yin yangs with dice, and eight balls and yin yangs and skulls and yeah so this is just pretty much a collection of yin yangs skulls metal eight balls and dumb stuff like that which is you know if it floats your boat that's cool a lot of weight to it this one's called a bomb again all right all right that makes sense Whoa. okay so now that we got that out of the way let's pull out these books so that they don't Oh, fold over on the rest of this stuff. All right, Slammer Whammer books and more Slammer Whammer books. These are pretty common to get. I have probably a million of them and I'm cool with it. So let's go through and see if there's anything good. Oh, there's empty. I mean, an empty Slammer Whammer book is always cool because, you know, 
I filled my Pocahontas box on so it doesn't smell like cigarette smoke, which they all kind of do. Empty or, or full? What do you think? Empty. All right. Let's see how all the pages stuck together. Oh, it would have been cool if these were all full, but um, I guess I'm just getting a whole bunch of empty ones. Yeah, all right. I mean, these are still pretty good, especially when they're unused. Not that I'm really planning on selling anything, but it's fun to have. I think they're all they're all empty. Oh, that's a little disappointing, but you know, that's life. Okay, let's go with this. This is just a random, random old binder. Oh, this is like a slammer binder. See, it's plastic. Uh, and then there's this. What's this? This is uh, another business card of Infinity Packaging. Shout out you guys in 1994 trying to sell pogs. Oh, yeah, your slammer holder. Nice. A lot of metal slam. Oh, these are all plastic. Are any of these metal? No, they're all plastic. Yeah, just some pretty chill designs. Look at this guy. Friggin' Adam Man here. You know, that's that's the gamble with Pogs. You're like, oh, I got seven binders, but they were all empty. But this is pretty cool. That's, that's some cool... Um, oh, we got... These are slugs. Heavily used and damaged slugs, right? Slug. So we got uh, series one and two two boxes of each, so we'll open and see if we get a full set, I think. Oh. And by dropping that slug, I de uh, it, it unstuck from the top. And what does it say? Place slug sticker here. Yeah, okay. Are these slugs too or no? Oh, they all fell off. Ugh. Some of these have been here too long. No, that was the only actual slug. All right, cool. Nice little slammer book. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, the slammer whammer stasher. I like, I like these Imperial uh, Pog books. They're pretty cool. Okay, and let's finish off this box with... Oh, this is just a bunch of pages of stuff. Oh, that's heavy, too. That's heavy, too. Okay, this actually goes on top. Heroes and superheroes. Oh, are we gonna... Are we gonna dive super deep into all the Marvel Pogs right away? Uh, let's see. I like this labeling. Nice, nice handwriting and stuff, too. Okay, this is not superheroes. This is just... More animation. Blank. Oh, we got blank. Sailor, is this Sailor Moon? You know, we have a, a Sailor Moon set. Wait, this is all unlicensed? Yeah, it's all just like weird blank stuff. Cool. Oh, we got Star Trek. I have so many sealed boxes. This is the cheapest, most get rid of for nothing pogs ever. Yo, we got some Star Wars. Okay, Star Wars is my jam. Got a huge collection of episode one. So I think these are the tops. And this is... Pogs, and then this is Taco Bell. Okay, Advanced Comics, some Superman Pogs, Wildcats. Let's see what's on the back. What is this? This is all Malibu Comics by Imperial Slammers. Oh, I've never seen the back. Sparkly. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Pick up a copy at your local specialty store. I'm happy with that. Oh, Spawn. Don't care. Sorry, Spawn fans. More Spawn. Don't care. The Spawn too. More Spawn. Spawn. Then we got Spider-Man Pogs. That's pretty cool. Uh, oh, more Spider-Man. Nice. And Slammers. Metal Slammer 2 of Spider-Man. I don't know what the deal is with that compared to this stuff. Uh, X-Men. Marvel. Yeah, X-Men here. Cool. More X-Men Pogs. Okay, Batman Pogs. Batman Forever. McDonald's ones. with ton of those divers, I guess. Whoa, Lego Pogs. I did not know this existed. That is so freaking cool. I love that. That's amazing. Casper, no one cares. More Sailor Moon. Oh, unofficial. And then we got a bunch of random Shrek and Felix the Cat. What's this stuff? These blades. Oh, your little Pokemon. I don't know what this is. Not a Pog, but it looks kind of like a Pog. All right, a bunch of skulls and stuff. Oh, a bunch of poison reflective caps. I don't know. I don't know what this means. Serrano. Maybe that's the guy's name. Are these slugs? Yeah, they're they're all shifting and stuff. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Are they slugs? No, they are slammer whammers and magic motion and slug. And then we got more eight balls and stuff from random stuff here. Wendell the executioner enjoys quality time at work. These are cool. Look at this triceratops one. Oh, these are a weird king. Crusade Pogs, Medieval Times. Oh, this guy was like writing down the numbers on him too. Uh, more reflective nature Pogs. Slammer Whammer, special holographic edition. Oh, I remember seeing these. Look at this Canada Pog. Madcaps by Tops. cool. Yo, poisons, poisons were cool. 
Can't mess with poisons. Whoa, Slammer Whammer Flash Caps Poison. Maybe that's the original Slammer Whammer Poisons. And then everyone copied them after that. I don't think I have any that actually say Slammer Whammer on the back. Nice. This is actually, this is actually a sick find then. Are these all Slammer Whammer? Some of them. And Power Caps. So they were Slammer Whammer or Power Caps Series 1. And I have so a box of Power Cap stuff right there. So maybe I got some of the actual poison ones in there too. All right. I think Divers was French for Slammers. Okay, what do we have here? Bad News, Gorilla. Look at these ones. These look like they were heavily used. Pure Poison, Mondo Metal. That's pretty sweet to see. Oh yeah, there's other Imperial, whatever, Slammers. All right. Oh yo, we got the OJ Simpsons Pogs. Okay, that was a thing. OJ Simpson Pogs. I don't know why, but uh, this looks like it's stuck on top of another pog. Like they just had pogs that weren't doing well and they're like, put OJ Simpson's face on it. Guilty and not guilty. Interesting. Yeah, 90s was a wild time with pogs. Okay, you got E equals MC square, who cares? This is a the original JK hitters, the only way to play. Man, I should do a video calling these phone numbers and trying to find these companies. Uh, yeah, Gorilla, what's this, official? Cap Slammer, Gorilla Slam. Interesting, Slammer 94. Oh, look at this crazy one. Roto Slammer by Slammer Whammers. This looks like it wouldn't slam very well, but it's cool shape. And yeah, there's that, okay. Oh, Captain Captain Crunch Slammer, another one. The Bomb Squad, okay. Uh, and then this is it, this is the last stuff. Overall, happy, except for that it stinks. But that's the gamble you get when you buy pogs. Okay, this is just a 2009. This guy was just using paint samplers to store all his pogs. Cool, cool. Uh, what's this? Stinger bug, the cruncher. What? What is this? Who made this? Pog. What is this big metal pog stuff? That's cool. Hey, I'll put that with this other big metal pog stuff. A couple spinny patterns, a monster pog. What's this shake? Is this pogs too? No, it can't be pogs. On the back, a lot of heavy metal stuff in here, which is cool. Eight balls. We got Dreads Skeleton. And the last one. Oh, okay, we got another Poison Pog. These are actually pretty pretty sweet. This is like a pretty good, authentic like representation of Pogs back in the day. A lot of just like weird stuff. And a Sabertooth Marvel one, which I think should be blank on the back. Yeah, overall... A uh, pretty cool score for what I'd expect from a bunch of random pogs. Is it worth the price? I don't think anything is worth the price for these. It's just like gambling, fun to see. Because like you're not getting your money back. It's just fun to get a cool bunch of pogs. And maybe my, my, my favorite pog of the whole thing, maybe I think it's a Snow White promotional pog. Now on home video, like that is such a weird thing. But uh, yeah, I hope you like that. Subscribe if you want to watch more Pogs videos. Because I have so many more Pogs to open. Because I've just been buying Pogs like wild for the last couple of years for no good reason. And now I'm finally opening them. So subscribe if you want to see more Pog stuff.